using car scanner OBD ELM and the OBD Oz uh, scan tool. What you do, head into the app store, click search, search for search for car scanner ELM OBD this one here you're after the blue one you can see I've already got it installed here so I'm just gonna push it open and it'll bring you through to the, the screen here fairly basic English yes I agree next you can follow this here and if you like it's just gonna set up the profile for your car next choose your car we're in a Toyota Prado, so scroll down. Do, 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 do. There you go, Land Cruiser. Okay. Now you can see we're in here. So, what we want to do is click on settings, connection, BLE 4.0, select device. Okay, and you should see something there called OBD Oz. Click on OBD Oz, that's all working. Back to the, oh, went back too far, back to the main screen there. Back on the main screen here, and just press connect. OBD Oz, yep. You can see here, successful connection. Connected down here, it's giving you a bit of information how it's connected, what protocol. But straight away, we can go, you can go into your dashboard here and I'll hit the accelerator. You can see it's reading that fine. Graphs, and you can see a bit more information here. Now if we click on all sensors, this is going to show you all the sensors it can see that is coming through. So you can see you've got quite a few things here, so it's checking if your engine check light is on, and it's fine. You've got your voltage, your coolant temp, manifold pressure, engine RPM, intake throttle position, boost, put one in automatically that's like picking up some uh, data for the automatic transmission fluid so you can see there's a couple sensors coming through here so because we selected the Toyota Prado it's put in some extra uh, PIDs which allow it to pick up this data so these two temperatures here could be the pan and the fluid or could be two different like sensors on the gearbox front wheel speed it's also like, picking up your like, wheel speed sensors so that's your data. This here is how you check for a codes. So straight away we can go OBD2, read. No DTCs found. So if your check light was on and there was a DTC found, it would come up here and tell you what the fault is in a definition and you could clear it. Also because we've selected Toyota Prado it's given us some some extra like um, options here for coding climate dashboard exterior luggage compartment other wireless door locking lock car again if doors weren't opened so this is something you know if you go to like, unlock your car but then you don't actually touch the doors at the car locks again in 30 seconds, so you can change this to 60 seconds or 120 seconds. Um, reverse B, remind about key ignition, driver seatbelt warning. Yeah, front passenger. So I quite often put things in the front, uh, like a passenger seat, that are heavy, and then my seatbelt uh, beeper goes off. So on here you can go, not active. 
So it will still flash, but you just won't hear the beeping sound. So that's basically what you can um, do in the SAP, connected to the OBD Oz uh, Bluetooth scan tool. Got your dashboard. You can view data on graphs if you want to compare different uh, data points together. Check out all the sensors, scan for faults and clear them. Freeze frame data. This is just going to bring up if your car does have a fault, it stores all the data when that fault will happen. So you could check different sensors and see if you can help work out what the problem was. Acceleration test, submissions test, data recording, coding service. And that's all basically it. And you can leave the OBD Oz blah, 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 blah. You can leave it plugged in the whole time. And you can just, you can just open the app when you jump in the car.